Dubai. I'm sure you're very anxious to get out on track. It's taken a lot of effort to get to F1. Congratulations. But the real work starts now. This is... Claire, motorsports journalist. Nice to meet you. You'll be seeing quite a lot of me throughout the season. So, you had a pretty impressive junior career. How are you feeling about your move into F1? Do you think you have what it takes? Let's save the questions for a proper interview, shall we? I'm sure you'll have a lot more to talk about once there's been some action on track. I think we could fit you in after FP1 if you're free. That works for me. I'll grab you the second you finish on the track. Remember, the relationship you have with the team can be affected by what you say to the media. So be careful. Anyway, it's time to catch up with Carl. He's waiting for you in the data centre. Good luck out there today. Welcome to the data centre. Here, we've got access to all kinds of information, including car telemetry, weather, lap times, tyre wear, the list goes on. Plus, we've got a direct link back to the factory, so we're in constant communication with the team there. We need you to regularly feed back about areas of the car that are lacking and help us direct our resources in the most productive way. More effort here equals a quicker car, so it's well worth the effort. Good luck this season. Oh. And make us all look good, okay? Welcome to your new team. As you're well aware, Mercedes have been mighty over the past few years, so there's going to be a lot expected of you right from the start. Here you can see the pertinent details about your current contract. On one side are the objectives and bonuses that we've negotiated with the team. On the other is information regarding how you're perceived throughout the paddock, your reputation with the current team, and your overall value. Welcome to our viewers from around the globe. You join us just as today's practice session for the Australian Grand Prix is about to start. An opportunity here then for the drivers to learn the track and learn the car, and of course work out all the little kinks that show up when the teams put these cars together at the circuit. Anthony Davidson, this is all very familiar to you of course, so why don't you give us an idea as to what the drivers will be getting up to in these sessions? I'd say the first responsibility for drivers during free practice is in gathering data for correlation purposes, which allows the engineers to match real-life data against the simulation. Secondly, the driver then needs to dial themselves into a circuit that they may not have driven around for a full year, which is a fact that's often overlooked. And then you finally focus on the details of car setup and the tyre wear. It's critical to have a good relationship with your engineer here so they can make the right adjustments at the right time to the car that ultimately bring out the performance you're looking for. In the unforgiving world of Formula One... Morning, it's Jeff here. I'm looking forward to working with you as your race engineer. Hope you've had your coffee, because we have a lot of work to do today to get ready for the season ahead. We're ready to fire up the car. Why not head out and get a few early laps under your belt? Don't push the car just yet. The track is still green. Try and take it easy for the first couple of laps. 